Good morning. We're on the Euro Japanese yen again today. Looking to trade a couple of trades here, two or three maybe on the outside boundary time frame. Looking to go consecutive. It is 1029.27. We're looking at a bracket based boundary opportunity possibly surfacing here with price stuck between the high and highest strength levels. There's only two outcomes here one to the downside, one to the top side. So, what we're going to do is go for a 15-minute outside boundary expiry. The rules are exactly the same. Shoot for 15-minute expiries. Make sure a bracket opportunity is shown by Team Genesis Elite and invest fixed amounts proportional to your equity and as per your own risk management plan. So we're in the trade now and we'll come back to you just before or on expiry to show you the results. All right, we're back. We have eight, seven seconds remaining here on this Euro Japanese yen trade to expire at 1045. It is well in the money, having re entered the boundary but has exited very sharply due to possibly a breakout scenario. We're going to go back to the chart shortly and see what's happening here. Uh, there we go. So, price uh, escalated long, retraced, hit the highest probability long reversal zone, which in its very essence is a high probability reversal zone therefore price bounced back very sharply getting us out of the boundary in time and uh, expiring in the money here so just, we're just waiting for the plant to calculate expiry and then moving on to the next consecutive outside boundary opportunity based on the same rules 15 minute time frame expiry making sure that we have either a panel based or a bracket based outside boundary opportunity shown to us by iTeam Genesis Elite pretty simple and fixed amounts so this one has expired profits have been booked so what we're going to do is come back to you at 11 or just before 11 because the next expiry is at 11:15 to shoot for our 15 minute expiry so stay tuned we'll be right back all right it is just a few seconds short of 10:59 we're now a minute away from 11 a.m where we are going to shoot for our 15 minute outside boundary expiry so let's prepare the uh, platform here uh, click out and enter your investment amount. Don't click buy yet. We're going to go back to the chart and quickly analyze if we have an opportunity. We do have an opportunity. Price has entered no man's land and then gone back into the highest probability long reversal zone. It is currently teetering over the edge of the highest strength boundary. This is a lower probability outcome scenario than um, normally when you see price comfortably uh, outside of that zone or in a zone that's above the highest probability long reversal zone. But we're going to take it anyway for the sake of being consecutive here and see what happens. All right, back again. The trade has expired outside of the money. It was a low probability scenario that we took the trade. Uh, the premise there was being consecutive. If you see a trade like this in future, unless and until you're very, very comfortable with a daily win rate using iTeam Genesis Elite on the outside boundary setup, such trades should generally be avoided. It's quite easy to say that in hindsight. But because this was a low probability opportunity from the get-go and we had identified it, uh, it was taken in the spirit of being consecutive, has expired outside of the money, but in no way is this a problem. Losses happen and this is not going to stop us from continuing. So we're going to come back for the next opportunity at 11.30. All right, it is 11.30, just a few seconds past, and we are in our next 15-minute expiry scenario. The next one to expire is at 11.45. Let's prep the platform here, enter our amounts, clicking out and everything just to make sure we're ready. And uh, price is now in no man's land. This is a totally avoidable scenario, so we are not going to place a trade and wait for the next 15-minute expiry opportunity instead, which will probably surface around the 12 noon mark or 12 15 mark so what we're going to do is wait and come back when there is an opportunity that is not in no man's land all right we're back again it's 11 59 10 seconds to 12 noon we avoided the previous trade because price was in no man's land according to iTeam genesis elite now however price has moved on bearish focus has re-established itself and we are looking at a valid panel based opportunity with a price probability of roughly 17% of price staying inside this current boundary. Therefore, the logical choice is to go for an outside boundary trade real quick here, targeting a 15-minute time frame on the Euro Japanese yen uh, for fixed amounts again. So we're now in the trade, and we'll come back to you shortly, just before expiry of this trade. This looks more promising than before with a shorter range as well.
Okay, we're back with just a few seconds remaining here to expiry price. Catapulted out of that boundary very quickly, retraced for a little bit, and then bounced off the lower edge of that boundary again, keeping us in the money on this trade and expiring successfully in the money. So this trade is a winner. We're now just going to wait for the platform to calculate expiry. There you see that reversal signal right off of the low strength, as you probably have seen in the webinar. That is a very powerful setup to take on its own for shorter time frames like five minute, or if you plan on taking a high low trade based on such opportunities continuing with the trend that is an excellent signal to take we however are focusing on outside boundaries at the moment do watch the webinar there's plenty of strategies in there very high win rates and uh, very consistent um, as well as easy to handle as well so we're now just waiting for the platform to release the funds here and book these profits and we have taken a few trades we'll, we'll go for another uh, see if we can go for another one here. We have expired. So let's wait for another trade now. The next expiry, according to Euro Japanese Yen, there is 1245. So, in the spirit of 15 minute trades and all rules being played out exactly the same way, we're going to come back at 1230 or just before to see if we have an opportunity at that time for a 15 minute expiry. All right, it is 12.29.25, roughly 30 seconds remaining here. The next expiry available is at 12.45. So let's go over to the chart, see if we have a valid opportunity. Uh, it looks like we do. We're just at the edge at the moment of the medium strength boundary. So just going to wait for price to move around a little bit. It looks like it's going into the medium and low strength bracket there. So let's shoot for a 15-minute expiry on this trade. Valid uh, bracket-based setup here. Price is reverberating between the medium and low strength boundaries. Excellent setup to take with a high probability, consistent win rates over time. So again, same fixed amounts, 15-minute expiry, valid bracket-based setup according to ITM Genesis Elite, and we're into the trade. We'll come back to you shortly here. All right, it is 12.44.55, five seconds away from expiry. Price has exited the boundary yet again to the long side this time, and we have expired in the money here successfully on this trade again. Uh, looking at the chart, we're looking at potentially a breach of the highest probability short reversal zone, price going long, and Genesis Elite possibly going to change its outlook to bullish here real soon. We have now uh, traded a few. Uh, we've done about four uh, trades here. It's been a couple of hours, so we're going to call it a day now. Uh, whatever price is doing at the moment, we're not really concerned about since we have expired on this last trade in the money. Just going to wait for the platform to calculate expiry. That concludes four trades here. One of them was a loss. The second trade was a loss, which we had uh, in the trades defense <laughs> uh, identified as a low probability trade that ideally should have been avoided. But the whole idea here was to go consecutive and showcase how a win rate can still maintain itself over time, regardless of losses, which are a totally practical, totally inevitable part of trading. So we've now expired here on this trade for a $3,500 net profit. We have executed four trades trades right now in the last few hours here, uh, one of them being a loss, three out of four, that's a 75% win rate uh, on this session today, using outside boundary setups only on the Euro Japanese Yen, targeting 15-minute expiries, fixed investments, bracket or panel-based ITM Genesis Elite outside boundary opportunities. Thank you.